coming in. settled um, very very quickly I know you've been somewhat checked in and have gotten your vitals done but really quickly just to confirm your birth date yes sorry nice to meet you Dr. Mm -hmm. yes okay and last digits of your, yes, your social. Okay. Lovely. Okay. Last time you were in for a physical exam. It's been a minute. You might want to actually schedule one soon. And then the labs for, yes, did you want me to order those? Okay. All right, now on to the big topic for today. Don't want you to be too nervous. Um, right, exactly. Well, let me see. When was the last time you had a pelvic exam? that experience for me. I won't lie, it's not the most comfortable exam. speaking about it in a very intellectual way, right? But not necessarily, even though your mind is keyed in, it's not necessarily meaning that your body is, right? And so there are levels of um, the dynamics between a patient and a doctor, for example, where mentally, you might say yes, and also mentally, you might on some levels want things to go as smoothly as possible, want me to be happy, but ultimately what's the most important is how you're feeling, your comfort levels, um, your personal consent levels, which can be revoked at any time during the procedure. And I need you to know that um, this does not have to happen today. And if you're really keen on happen, having it happen today, if you're not comfortable with me doing this procedure, we also have a self, yes, a self swap. I, yes, I have a kit that I can give you. Mm -hmm. And either way, if you're really keen on having it done, specifically, um, although I am also happy to administer the test for you. With that being said, this is not something that has to happen today. We can postpone it. As well, sometimes even with your body, you might mentally say, yes, this is something that I want to have happen, but yes, this kitten is here for your emotional He's me. <laughs> for your emotional benefit. But as I was saying, this is not something that has to happen today. It is not a necessity. It's helpful and important for Preventing, yes, as I'm sure it's been said before, 
um, but it is important um, for screening purposes. Right. And it's also the reason why physical exams, um, whether or not anything that you can tell is wrong is happening, just routine checkups can be important. However, this is not something that has to happen today. And I want to reiterate that as I have, I think, probably s several times already, because no does not mean that you failed today. You might have to meet me in person. I know we've mostly been meeting, um, right, exactly. I know it's been difficult accessing lately. Yes, hospital services. It's right. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. do you have any questions? Yes, I am happy to explain. Um, we have different sizes of speculums here. Um, right. This one's our largest one. We have a medium size and then a very smallest one. And basically what happens is I insert this, if you are happy for me to, um, insert this. And then I take this swab and I use the swab to take some cells. Those cells go into a tube to be examined. And then the test results will show up on your health portal in a few days. Yes, it is very very fairly short test but again um, we are not here to force anything if you are uncomfortable I'm not here right this is an exam that can be really traumatic for a lot of people and um, in my experience of learning about this in school um, and also my experience with this test, um, learning how to administer it in other places many, many times, um, other, as well as patients um, having horror stories about it. Um, a lot of people don't have good experiences, even though this is not necessarily a very quick, like, long, arduous test because physicians aren't always um, for the worst of it not prepared to do trauma-informed care which is absolutely ridiculous um, for, the, for this or any profession but especially when you are performing something as intimate or invasive um, as a pelvic exam. Yes, I think it's very important. So, it is up to you, whatever you feel. Um, whether it's um, a self-administration, which I have the, t the kits right here, and essentially you would be doing something very similar. You would take the kit, you would go to the one of our restrooms. Yes, and we have this tool. Yes, and essentially you will just conduct this swabbing yourself. You would break this swab into this tube, put it in this bag, and then you would just bring it back to me. And I'm happy to have either way.
would you want me to try? And then as a backup, you could try to do it yourself if it's not working. All right. I'm gonna put on my gloves. All right, please sit back and I will lower you a bit. Put your legs. Uh -huh. I'm going to. Yes. <laughs> this part's a little bit. Yes. Your feet go in here and then here. Okay. And then I will just place this over your lap so that you feel a little bit more comfortable. Sometimes it. Helps you feel a bit more safe and comfortable. All right. Um, which size of the speculums would you feel most comfortable? It does not matter to me. We can go with the smallest. All right. Okay. to touch the inside of your thigh first so not as intimate of a place but a little bit and then move forward and then I'm going to yes and we mm -hmm. how does this feel does that feel okay I'm going to spread okay and then I'm going to insert the speculum tell me if you are feeling any discomfort? Is that all right? How is that feeling? Okay. Very quickly. Okay. It's in. It's in. Okay. I'm going to take the swab. All right. And. Now, yes, yes, you can sit up now, there you go, you can put your legs down, I'll lift you up a bit, there you go, and that was it. you want to schedule let me order that for you mm -hmm. and so that's ordered so after this all you need to do is to well, after your you know change and everything um, go back up to the lot out to the lobby yes and then um, schedule your appointment with the front. Mm -hmm. And we should be good. And I should be seeing you again shortly. Yes. I know you did marvelous. I know it can be a very, very scary and nerve inducing procedure. Good seeing you. Yes. All right. Let me just take that. And I'll leave it to you.